advertisement, sorry about that. Let's share. Yeah, seriously, why is there no fucking remake of this game? I mean, I, 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 I get why. Because, you know, they had... They have, uh... Like, copyright issues. I've actually just never seen this in a car. Yeah. Parasite Eve, 1998. This game is legitimately one of my favorites because of how... Not just how dark it is, but because, you know, Square at that time, obviously they were, like, kings of making games, RPG specifically. It, it really pushed the boundaries of what games could be, I think, more so even than 
the Final Fantasy VII. But I also just love it just because, I mean, it's a, you know, fantastic story, fantastic music, great graphics, at least at that time. I don't know, I'm one of those people that still think that PS1 graphics just haven't aged that poorly. Don't get me wrong, graphics are still definitely, like, more impressive nowadays. It's just, I guess I'm still impressed by what they were able to pull off even back then. You know, some, this is, what, 20 years old at this point? I don't know, I find cutscenes or FMBs like this a lot more endearing than, let's say, quick time events that just completely break all sense of immersion. I think they just used this tech for Final Fantasy VIII later on anyways, too. Just for how realistic the, uh... I think it's like, what's wrong? Hiya, Brea. Yeah, another reason why this game should get remade. Y y you have... I mean, you know, I'm not going to spoil it right here, but you have one of the best, like, female protagonists, I think, of... of all time. Or one of the best. And she's completely forgotten by time. You know, mainly because of just the fact that this game, as I said, is 20 years old, and then, of course, um, the later installments in the Paris Eve series, particularly a third birthday just kind of ruined and pissed all over what this game had done, but, like, you'd assume that she would keep... You'd assume that she'd, you know, at least be remembered, but no. Sadly not. Which kind of sucks, but, I mean, hey, hopefully they'll reboot this one day, or at least go back to it. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had... <laughs> yeah, dude, that's great that you had your father do this. That's totally not, you know, a dorky thing to say. Sorry, that, uh, we're gonna have a great time, you'll see, okay? Wait, oh, shit, let's get the dialogue. Does guy have anything to say? Enjoy the show. I wonder if I go inside, sure. But I want to see what's on the street corner over here. Oh yeah, another thing about this, the, the movement is fantastic too. No tank controls, no fucking problems moving around, nothing. Just good old fashioned, you know, joystick movements. How'd you get in here before me? Oh, whatever. Okay, there we go. Oh god, one of the best sequences in the game. <laughs> this freaked me the fuck out when I was a kid. <laughs> Give me permission to marry Eva. I forbid it. You know well what would happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She's the one who suffered after all the deaths, so why not just, you know, keep the keep the rhythm going by you know, going in myself. Sorry for this for a second. Then I ask you to take my life along hers. What, what does that accomplish? Oh god, here's where it starts. <laughs> Of 
for how beautiful the FMVs are, you can definitely tell that they were still getting used to it, especially with how Final Fantasy VIII would turn out the next year. Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. This absolutely traumatized me as a kid. Just seeing this and like how everything turned out. Like, this, this scene's fucking horrifying. It's like, you know, you're at the opera, people bursting into flames, launching themselves into the crowd, and essentially exploding. Look at that. Even the music itself is horrifying. Fucking badass. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is where. I don't think there are any items in this part now. Okay. Yeah, good thing no tank controls. Uh, bad news about that, she walks <laughs> so slow. What do you mean, you didn't notice that? What are you talking about? I you didn't notice that you were the only one that hadn't really been affected by any of this. Oh, this is where we get into the music too. Fucking Yokoshima Mura. If you don't know her, Street Fighter Two, Kingdom Hearts, uh, she has some other stuff too. She's awesome. This is where we get into the sick fucking combat this game has. It's real time. It's actually pretty badass. So yeah, the combat's real time. It, it very interesting too because around this time, like you know, fucking 1997, 1998, right? Square. Ah, shit. Um, you know, turn-based battle systems were a huge thing. So it's an interesting that they decided, hey, fuck it, let's go for a live action or live, like a. I'm trying to find the right words. A real-time battle system, you know. One that actually requires you to move around to experiment, sort of. They later did the same thing with Vagrant Story, but that's kind of because Ferris ID after this game kind of dropped it for, you know, a more Resident Evil style. But nonetheless, it's still freaking awesome what they managed to do with this. Like me? Who are you? Eve. I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me very well. This is a JRPG in the 90s, after all, it wouldn't be a JRPG in the 90s without an uh, amnesia plotline, now would it? Or, seemingly, when it was uh, amnesia side quest. 
I'm not through with you yet. I'm not finished with you! It's odd. No, trust me, like, her movement is odd, but I would much rather prefer this over, like, the weird tank control style that was prevalent throughout these days, especially this time, what, Resident Evil uh, 2 was out around this time? Yeah, <laughs> no thanks. And I forgot where I was supposed to go. There we go. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Oh shit. You know, it, it kind of bugs me that she never questioned that sort of thing. I oh, forget that. Like, she never questions that there was just a kid down here for some reason behind the stage, which it's the first thing I would question. Like, who are you and how did you get here? But, you know, it's like playing convenience. What does that say? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Let's try... Locked. Okay, other thing about this game that's slightly inconveniencing, the fact that, for whatever reason, if you want to interact with anything, it has to be in, like, pixel-perfect alignment. If you're even slightly off, it's just not gonna work. This freaked me as a kid, too. Just the mitochondria transformations. Yeah, try growing up in Virginia with rats around, like in mice traps, and, and, and try not being freaked out by this. until we get to the weapon customization, though. It's going to be so sweet. <laughs> Good honor, though, for, like, you know, hey, I'm a, pol I'm a cop. I gotta do my job, even, you know, on my off day. Going to the opera and still checking out what's wrong. Alright, so I think I can... Oh god, I think I can interact with these lockers here. Yep, nothing. Nothing. Oh shit. You're still alive. Melissa. That's horrifying. <sighs> oh. Okay. And then, oh, oh, that. Okay, that's a glitch. Good, good idea in the real-time reflection. It just doesn't work well in 
this. Okay, so now we got these. <laughs> Don't scare me, I'm a cop. Just hearing, you know, only staff are allowed in here. Well, she just said she's a cop. Like, I think. Never mind. Man, great soundproofing on these walls, and I hear the screams of terror going on upstairs. What do you mean, what? There are people that are burned next door. You didn't hear anything? It's probably talking about those mutant rats. Never mind. He's already gone. Never mind. Well, he's okay. You know what? I, I don't have time for this. We'll get back to him later. I'm sure he's fine. <sighs> come on, come on. Ammo. I think there was a trick or a glitch or something like that to multiply them. Hold on. So I'm gonna need to go to this room then. God. <laughs> Better notify the department about what's happened here. Yes, I'll save my progress. I miss that too. Just the the oddities of uh, saving back then. Just those slight little things that you never really notice. Okay, now I know there's a key around here somewhere. I just can't find the room. And I want to say it's this one. And then I want to say that there's something around here that should lead me to a key, but I don't remember where it is. I just haven't checked that back room enough. I definitely fucking know there's someone there's one around here. bad thing about the movement in this game. And there's no, s there's no slow movement from what I know either, like no way to just walk other than just tilting the thing forward. Okay, medicine? That's great, but that's not what we need. We need... No. I need a key. Which I swear should have been in one of these drawers over here, but evidently not. No, wait. No. Yep, there we go. Okay, 
So now I think from there I should be able to access one of these two. Yep. I can interact with here. There we go. A diary. November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. <laughs> November 17th, Monday. I was ca the cast was announced, and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but sh everyone knows she's good. November 21st, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. My body is getting hotter than ever for some reason. Oh, God. I better take more medication. December 6th, Saturday. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. Fucking Black Swan, aren't we? December 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I'd better take lots of medication tonight. What, she, what are you doing? December 11th, Thursday. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Jesus Christ. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God, forgive me. Well, you, you just said you would sell your soul to the devil to get part, you said you would literally do anything for it. I mean, this is its kind of what happens. December 17th, Wednesday. It looks like I'll be the lead. I better take more medication and work it. Oh, boy. December 23rd, so... Right the day before this. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert at the next the next day at the park, but I'm not feeling well. I'd better shape up if I want to get through this. I better take more medication. Okay, so you've been taking medication for like a month now, and you haven't noticed that you haven't been feeling well this entire time. Obviously, the medicine isn't fucking working. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. <laughs> Thank you, Aya, for that great insight. The rehearse key. Anything? Nope. Uh, nope. Huh. That's not creepy at all. Hi. Merry Chris. What? God. Fucking hell. Oh, God. Level up. Cool. I believe this game also has a limited inventory space system, so yeah, because my total down there. So I can only carry a certain amount of things at a time, which I hate the fact that they count key items in that, but that's I imagine that'll I imagine that'll change at some point. And more ammo, which I need. And I can't get to those parts, okay. So in fact, let's check those back doors. Oh. Crap. Me alone.
Obviously attacking close and behind is the best option, but that's not always the case, as you'll see. S sometimes getting close to enemies can be a giant pain. Can I unlock this door yet? Uh, nope. And what's this door? You can I just got it yet. Really? Okay. Come out this door. There we go. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay. Oh, thank God. Fuck, let me alone. I need to get rid of that thing. Alright, it's a good time than any actually to show this off. So, once your bar fills, you can go heal. Use your energy. I forgot what the actual PE stood for, which I'm going to assume it means your Phantom Energy. That's a good guess, but I I spent so long since I played this, I forgot. Alright, my inventory I think is full, so I should probably take medicine at some point or another. Whoa. Can I get back here? No. the door. Oh. Finally. Okay. Chest. That is a... Weapons mod? Item increases attack power by one. But I can't remember if that's only in battle or not. I'll get around to it later. It's on. Oh! <laughs> Wait, uh huh. I don't. I. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's so what I thought. <sighs> I need that. Oh, wait. Wrong menu. Talk. Uh. Yep. Good. And crack. Crawl back through the. Other. I'm not going to question these things. Oh, God. Fuck. To be honest, I don't remember a lot about these rooms. A lot of them I just seem to forgot about as time goes on. Like, I completely forgot that this was a room, like, in general. Probably because I was so busy trying to get to the other rooms that I just comple it completely slipped, like, oh yeah, there's other shit in here. Unlock the door. And of course, the most hype song in the history of. I'm Melissa. I'm. No. I'm. I. 
I am... I... am... Eve. Quick, take more medicine. Nuclear domination has finally come to an end once and for all. You know, I'm really concerned about that medicine you were taking. Oh god. Once again, the day for Midat Contria to be free has finally arrived. Yep, super concerned about that medicine you were taking. Fuck. Come on. Ah. Back away, back away, back away. I suck at these segments. Ah! That's it. I'm to use medicine before she fucking kills me. It's also a good way to free up inventory space. I also can't dodge it like our first attack either. God. Uh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Jesus. It's like you still need some time. Until your mitochondria is completely free. <laughs> I don't understand you. things too that people don't really talk about is I is innate curiosity too. If I went to a, any sort of opera and saw this, I would run screaming and never look back. Fuck curiosity. Oh, oh god. Parasite powers have evolved. Scan. Analysis. Analysis is. Okay, I see what you mean. Analyzes. I think you can also technically grind in this game, but. I never really saw a reason to because of the weapon customizability, which you'll see in a sec. Are you kidding me? Leave me alone. And 
another level up. Fuck. Soup. That doesn't do any damage. The gun, however, it's plenty of damage. And I don't remember if we can go upstairs or not. Oh, we can. It's just a little weird because it <sighs> I need to get that right. What the fuck? That's a mistake. Revive. Are you shitting me? How? How the f- uh, Hold on. Maybe this is the weirdest shit. Alright, so I guess I'm not getting that then, because I don't know how else to get it. Maybe I can get that chest from back here? No. Nothing. <sighs> that sucks. It's, uh, that's probably a problem with this thing. Okay. And I think there's an encounter. Yep. Two of these things, just my, my favorite enemies in this game. Well, this game does have the annoying habit of not keeping your inputs from the last time you fired. I like guess it's more for challenge than anything else, but still, it's, it's just an annoying little tidbit that I wish they would, you know, fix. <laughs> There's a switch and an emergency phone. Uh, use the phone so I can save. Okay. Now press the switch. Is ready to take me on just by yourself, but you just told me like ten minutes ago that I wasn't ready. Not much has changed since then. Like literally nothing. I just got a new gun. Everyone else but you. You are. Tell me why. Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out. 
eventually. Think wait wait a uh, pretty much trolling the player there by saying, Oh, you'll see in time. You just gotta wait and play through the game. Sorry to immersion break there, but I mean that's literally in a nutshell what it's telling you. Even if you don't understand, don't worry, your mitochondria will. They've always known. The day will arrive, you shall awaken. Okay. <laughs> this animation's funnier than it should be. You know, I never looked this up, but I think Eve's design kind of inspired what would eventually become Ultimisha's design in 8. I could be wrong about that, but from what I remember, there are a lot of things about uh, Parasite Eve that they eventually were going to put in 7 and decided to put in Parasite Eve, and then there's a lot of stuff from Parasite Eve that they decided to put in 8. Like, I think Aya's original design was based off of what Squall originally was supposed to look like. There are two targets. Okay, so this is where we can dual target, I think. Go for the tail first. Doing great so far. Got okay. Okay, good damage. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to heal. Let's use medicines I have. Oh, wait, what What do these do? Restore life when you die. So I can still use items when I die, or is it as soon as I get hit? Ah, uh, dodging those is going to be a tough balance, but I love this real-time battle system. You know when it, when I actually know how to use it. And now I'm gonna use medicine stupidly in a awful. Oh no! It pauses. Okay, good. Never mind. If you get criticals by standing directly behind it, but I don't want to try that because its tail's in the way. Oh yeah, that was the thing. Was useful. Thanks. Awesome. I need. 
when I awaken. Just tell me what you want, Eve. We're live in front of Carnegie Hall, where the scene has become complete chaos. I mean, yeah, but I, why are you talking to me? Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged by only occult enthusiasts. Oh god, this is one of my favorite parts. Christmas Eve of all nights, dun dun dun. Yeah, dude. Daniel. <laughs> okay. There's really something that happened back there. But my date. <laughs> Your date sucked. Uh, sorry for your loss. Is that the end thing right now? Well, 1997, 1998. You finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's Christmas. I really understand. Dude, it's Christmas, but what the f. That's how I sleep in the car. Just think, this was supposed to be Final Fantasy VII. At least something close to it. Day two, fusion.
only one that knows who hap what happened last night. She's got no relatives and no close friends. She was sick often always on some kind of medicine. Oh, sick often always on some kind of medicine. She with the opera said that they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident. So we have no inf info on her medication. It wasn't spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Like one of those ESP things. Well, I can't really explain how else, you know, a series of mysterious burnings could happen, but, you know, just a theory. Well, I'm not buying it. Well, that's great. You can be off the case then. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for a better sidearm. Thanks. You got any stuff in here I can use? Nothing? No? Okay. You sure nothing? Like, nothing at all? Ah, out of phase. Dude. There's something around here I know that I technically could use. see what it is either. Use this medicine when HP is low. I don't really like that. It's mine. What the fuck are you on about? And I can't. Oh. I already had my vest on.
Hey there, good looking. <laughs> so it'll be shotgun, rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, getting political. Shit. Yeah, I really need to fix that. Because that's bothering the shit out of me. He's clipping through the table, Abby, because, um... For whatever fucking reason, the uh, thing I'm using is not working, right? I don't get it. I don't know why. It's just, for whatever reason, it's just not fucking working, right? Actually, you know what? Let's try to fix that. One sec. not right either. How about this? Is this right? Is this the right one? No. Okay, so I can't... I can't save state either. It's, it's not gonna fucking work, so I guess I'll just wait until the next time I save to fix it. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you, but I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. I guess I can't send you off empty handed. Say you can't carry any more equipment. Wayne, take some things of hers and put them in storage. What? No! Uh... I can leave equipment. Let's see, maybe I could add some stuff onto this, or put points into it, yeah. I need to tune up the range of this. Can't move that. That's stupid. Let's move that over. Let's move this over. And I don't think I need this now. I can keep all the other shit here just in case I just in case I really need it, but I doubt it. I should have moved over some items, but I think I need all of them. 
Here, this is the most powerful gun gun I can allow you to have. And you tell me this after I put points into... Okay. <sighs> Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. No. I don't have it. I put it in storage. Alright, then just wait here. Damn it, why did I mod that one? I could have modded the other one. I, mean, I guess I just got it, but... Just remember, cops own guns for protection. So don't let the gun own you. I think I have bigger worries. You can rearrange equipment parameters and add effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. Thanks, dude. Tune-up icon. Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and add effects to your weapon. If you remove an added weapon, that equipment will disappear. Oh! I see. Forgot about that. Uh, why don't you need the stuff you don't need with me? Okay. Kind of need all. Well. And everything else I pretty much need. Yep. Now, is this a one time usage or. So, Abby, have you ever heard of this game before? Parasite Eve? It's a survival horror-esque kind of game, I guess is the best way to put it. And it is one of my all-time favorites. You have a phone I can use now. Great. That probably it's probably in the fucking office. What the fuck do I get out of here? Ah, yeah, there we go. No, I, I definitely know what the problem is with this. It's uh, it's a setting that I have on that I think messes this up. Yeah, it was made by Square, it was during their golden era, um, like way, way back in uh like nine in the you know in the nineties. Yeah, this game's this game's awesome. Alright, I'll save it here and then I'll I'll fix that and then maybe get back to it in a bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break so I can eat and then I'll probably be back on stream in a little bit too. Okay. 
Alright, so now that I know what the problem actually is, hold on, let me fix it here. Alright, that should fix things. Let me just test it to make sure. It's during their experimental days, too. <laughs> Did it involve Hogan leg drops now? Um. Oh, speaking of which, I have a, another idea for something I want to do on stream, but it, it, uh, with you, or with Yuki and everybody. It's a fun, it's a fun idea that I'm gonna ask everyone in the group about in a second. Uh, continue. Alright, and this should fix things, and if it didn't fix things, then <laughs> I fucked this up completely. So it's not fixed. Uh, whatever. It's it's fine. It works at least. That's nonetheless. Okay. So I'm gonna end the stream here. And uh, if you want to jump in Seki server, I'll tell you what that idea is.